we are going to be working for the next two weeks on some origami modules. These origami modules are going to be going in a show at the Rock Ridge Library. All right, so you need to make them beautiful, accurate. So I want the way you use the colors to be symmetrical, you know? So if it's an eight-pointed, an eight-sided thing, I want like four and four with them opposite or two, two, and two with them opposite. Understand, I'm looking for symmetry. So these are the Sonobi cubes. So the, what is important when you put these together? There's two things that are important. Every unit has to be exactly the same. You can't make some left-handed and some right-handed. And the other thing you want to remember when you put them together is you'll have six units. There are six faces on a cube. So each unit needs to be a face. Good job. Remember, remember what it's called? Hyperbolic parabola. We're going to go corner, that corner, to this corner now. You're almost yeah, there. We don't have any more. Bring it to what the top you, corner. Okay. What do you want to open? You want me to hold it or you got it? Oh, I got it. So you finish that up, okay? Nice work. God bless you. Raise a quiet hand if you can explain to me <coughs> if they look flat or if they look like they have depth in them. So quiet hand. Quiet. They look like they're actually real. They look real. They don't look like they're flat planes. They look like real landscape or real room. Looking at these pictures, why? Why do they look like they go, they're deep instead of, we, we, they're actually flat, but why do we feel like we could almost walk into some of that? Can anybody raise a quiet hand and explain to me why you think that? This is a Jacob Lawrence painting. Can you see how the people in the front here, yeah. I call it the front, but it's really the bottom of the page are kind of big, and the people in the back are a little bit smaller? Yeah. You see that? that that's called perspective. It's called perspective. See that there's angles that go like that? Yeah. I want you to do this with your arms. Go go with your arms. Go wide to narrow. Wide to narrow. Can you see in some of these pictures the train tracks go from wide to narrow? Yeah. The room goes from wide to narrow? Mm -hmm. Look at the floorboards here. Can you see how they go at this angle? Connecting this to your science unit. Connecting this to your science unit about weather and <coughs> clouds. The same thing what happens with the sky. So next <coughs> week we're gonna paint clouds. But when you paint clouds and sky, I want you to understand that the clouds that are closest to you, right above, are gonna be bigger. Clouds that are further away are gonna be smaller. It's well, the whole idea of learning perspective is so that we can do really good, um, good paintings of clouds because your science unit now is weather and clouds. So we want to be able. You want we're going to have you paint clouds. We want you to be able to do really good paintings of all the different clouds you're learning about. So to do a really good cloud painting, you need to be able to do a grayscale. Right? You need to be able to get really light grays and really dark grays because clouds are a combination of all different whites and grays.